What's up, everybody? This is Afro Joe, man. And, uh, and this is some shit, though, man. I'm telling you. You might see this bitch, Kim Car You heard of I bet everybody heard about this Kim Kardashian bullshit. About how she scammed. Like, you hear a lot of people say, oh, it was a scam. It was fake. Oh, it's not real. Oh, she. Oh, she didn't do this. This was a real marriage. She was married for 72 hours. Come on now. Come on now. This is bullshit. Bitch, they lied to everybody out there, man. And you might be wondering, who's this guy you pictures you flashing? That's Jonathan Jackson. Her publicist. He's an actor, I guess. And he busted her ass out. Oh, a basketball player busted her ass out too. Actually, his his a uh, representative or manager. Her man, his manager told him so well. She, they came up to me six months ago, asking me to join in on this. It probably looked good for my look. It probably looked good for my career. If I, 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 they planned this shit to scam and fool America. I'm t uh, this is bullshit. They plan plan this for six months. For six months? Come on now. She planned this for six months. And the guy she did marry, oh, now he, oh, he bummed out. Motherfucker ain't bummed out. He got money. He got money because of this shit. Y'all said, oh, Afro Joe, you full of shit. You don't know what the hell you talking about. You going to hell for talking bad about Kim Kardashian. I'm not going to hell. I'm telling y'all because she lied to everybody. Lied to everybody with this bullshit, man. Her mom's going on national TV. Oh, it wasn't a scam. It was so real. She's bummed out. And... Bitch, you on national TV telling everybody she's bummed. She bummed out about this. Bumped out about this. She ain't bummed out. That's a fucking ass. She, she's playing like she's bummed out, but she knows she's getting good ratings. She's getting good ratings. I ain't, man. She ain't. I'm telling y'all, man. How can y'all look up to this woman? How can y'all sit there and say, Oh, she's so fine. She's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. She lied to y'all. She scammed y'all. She fooled y'all. She pulled the bullshit over your eyes. And I'm tired of sitting up here watching y'all believe in some horse shit that she pulled on y'all. Y'all wanna sit there and kiss her damn scamming fake ass. Go right ahead. I ain't gonna stop you, but I'm telling the motherfucking truth. I ain't got time for this Billy Jack bullshit. This guy in the picture, Jonathan Jackson, said it himself. We planned this shit six months ahead. Six months, six months, a few months, like months ahead. Asked one basketball player, he turned it down, so they went on to the next one, and he said, fuck yeah. You got two people, actually three, if you look at the damn basketball manager, public, whoever the guy was to this basketball player, telling them that this bitch then came up to me and said, would you do this? You're gonna look good because one thing is, it's so it's gonna be fate. She's been married for 72 days and decided to divorce. Now, come on now, come on. Pull the dick out your ears, wipe the come out your eyes, and wake the fuck up, y'all. This bitch then fucked y'all over, and y'all gonna look up her as a god. And that, and I'm gonna say it like I like I'm gonna say it like I said in the last video, months ago, where I did a video about celebrities and Whoopi Goldberg. I said something about Whoopi Goldberg. 
Whoopi Goldberg is was right. She said, the people don't work for me. I don't work for the people. Now, why ain't this bitch following that? There's been a lot of, a lot of actors. And I'm saying, now look, you ain't never seen a celebrity wedding besides royalty wedding from England, like the Queen and Prince. The Queen, Princess Diana, and and one of her sons. That was it. But nobody else, ne no other celebrity ever did a national broadcasting of the wedding. You've never seen Samuel Jackson, uh, Eddie Murphy, Patch Brock, whoever. You ain't never seen no other celebrities do a nationwide TV broadcasting wedding, have you? Fuck no. But why did she do it? Just to look good, just to get my money. Her mom went on a view and said, Oh, she's in debt. She ain't in debt. She gets paid good ass money from doing them keeping up with the Kardashian episodes. She ain't in debt. She had a her and her two sisters had enough money to make them damn credit cards. She ain't in no motherfucking debt. Bullshit. And there's a lot of celebrities saying, there's a lot of celebrities sitting up there saying, uh, I'm tired of people looking up to me as a, as a God. I don't like that. I wish people didn't do that. Why is there other celebrities saying this shit, but this bitch going around and want everybody to bow down to her motherfucking feet and praise her? I'm just waiting. This is, this, I tell you like this. I'm just waiting for a motherfucker to open up a Kim Kardashian in church. When somebody open, open up a Kim Kardashian church, it proves my point. This shit is a scam. It's bullshit. It's horseshit. It's, and she's full of shit. You're probably saying, Joe, don't talk down to Kim Kardashian. What the fuck she ever do to you? What she ever, she, what the fuck she ever do to me? nothing it's just the bullshit she put on everybody else you ain't never heard a motherfucking a marriage lasting 72 damn days look at Britney Spears it was a publicity stunt when she married her best friend only for an hour and they got divorced the next damn day few hours and she got divorced now if that wasn't publicity stunt I don't know what the fuck is 72 damn days that's a fucking publicity son oh uh, you said what about her last husband that was four years if you've been together for months almost a year come on now they jump into they jump in the gun and and, and, and it just don't I just don't understand it that on Kim and her two sisters are always chasing after fucking athletes now think about it why would you chase after 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 an athlete where when they blow a knee when their joints and their muscles starting to break down it's time for them to retire your loss it's your loss because they can't do nothing all they do they go on to retirement because they can't play no more they can't play no more after they lose after they lose after their joints started aching it would get to a point where they can't play no more what happens they go on retirement why not chase a basketball player any athlete where they only got like a few months or a few years left on them to play and get and you marry them then they can't play no more you get butt hurt man and divorce and move on actors they gone forever until they get sick and they can get and that's it they can but it's a, it's a scam and people looking up to them like they're fucking Greek gods and I don't get it why people watch that dumb ass show keeping up with the Kardashians Desperate Housewives franchises are all bullshit even Jersey Shores I'm gonna actually put a video that this guy proving the Reality shows are actually scripted because he did a story on Jersey Shore about the last season that just ended. The third, what, fourth season? Come on. Come on, y'all. Y'all sitting up here playing these bullshit games. 
playing this bullshit game looking up at uh, Kim Kardashian as a motherfucking Greek god and she pulled the bullshit over your eyes. And y'all sitting up here thinking that she's something. Bitch ain't shit and scammed y'all out of so much all that. Oh, are we paying these six months ahead? Motherfucking publicists call shit bullshit on her. Even the fucking other basketball player call bullshit. Come on, man. Wake the fuck up and stop thinking. You can sit there and don't even try to walk up on me and try to say, you need to, and try to defend this hoe and that she fucking fooled y'all with this bullshit because I am not going to take it. If I see one fucking comment, if if I see one comment that somebody's taking up for this bitch, I'm deleting it. Because I don't need nobody taking up for this bitch. She a grown ass woman. If she saw this video, good, because bitch, you is dumb as hell. You need to stop bullshitting everybody, you fucking con artist, bitch. Got a damn sex tape out there. She'll suck your dick just to get a dollar. Money hungry, how gold digger, digging the booty ass bitch. If you don't like what I got to say, then kiss my ass. And this has been fucking Afro motherfucking J O E. If you like what I got to say, let me get a comment. If you like what I say, put it in the comment, put it in a video response. Follow me on Twitter and show your friends. Show your friends this video. But to me, this is bullshit how motherfuckers follow. If you leave a comment saying, Oh, motherfucker, Joe, you lost your dead mother. You don't need to be talking bad about this girl. I can talk all the shit I want. I dare for that bitch to get her lawyers on the phone and tell them to see a cease and desist or the bitch. This is America. Freedom of speech goes a long way. Plus, your bitch ass is in the limelight. If you can't tell Perez Hilton to shut the fuck up, then you don't need to tell me shut the fuck up. I'll say that ahead of time because I don't need no fucking cease and desist order. You can kiss my Negro ass, and y'all can burn in here if y'all gonna still kiss up to this hoe. Peace the fuck out.